Starbase is an open a universe, massive multiplayer online game. Uh, it is a mix between uh, Space Engineers, uh, EVE, and Hard Space Shipbreakers, actually, with how detailed these ships can get. Now, I, am, I, I sound hesitant because this game is right up my alley. It's, it's, I mean, come on. Are we, are we surprised that Mike B is playing another space building game? Probably not. Uh, I have a thousand plus hours in Space Engineers. Uh, I've played countless other just like general space games, but Space Engineers is like really the big one. Like that's the big one, man. Um, and so a lot of the comparisons I'll be making here, I might draw to Space Engineers, but I'll try to lay them out in terms that, you know, the average person will uh, understand. Just in case you want to get involved in one of these types of games, you know, like if you just have way too much time on your hand or none at all and you want to sacrifice it anyways, this game is perfect for that. Now I'll say up front, the game is broken. Like it's broken. There's a lot of really broke stuff in this game. Uh, I'm going to put on the cruise control here. So. I am still a little, a little in the dark about how certain things work in the game because I was, uh, well, because I only have like 10 hours in, really. <laughs> I've done a number of mining runs. I've worked with the market stuff. I have generally just trying to get used to how the back end of things work, the economy side. How am I going to be making money? How am I going to be um, uh, you're building new ships and all that? Uh, and so... Economy-wise, I wanted to try to get get my get my ducks in a row there. Now, I'm built it in, kind of, so I should be able to step out of this and give you guys an idea. My things on here. Oh, oh, oh let me out. There we go. Okay, let me make sure that my uh, nope, they're not. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> like I said, the game is <laughs> has issues. <laughs> So this is a problem because now I'm going to have to maneuver my way out of here. This happened on stream, actually, so I'm so happy it's happening now because it really kind of gives you an idea. I'm using Q and E right now to see if I can maneuver my way into another, another thing. So yeah, the game is broke. Now, let's move on to mining. <laughs> so, I have the pickaxe out here. There is a floating piece of rock out here. How convenient. We're going to go up here. We're going to actually turn on our suit lights so we can see what we're doing. Now, this is some red rock. So, this red rock, we want to see what it is. We're going to go pull out our little our little universal tool here. And it says that it is uh, agitite ore, and, or specifically the red, is a corrodium ore. Uh, corrodium ore sells pretty well. And there's a little spreadsheet right over here that actually tells me. Uh, let me see. Corrod corrodium, right? Corrodium. Yeah, look at that. 5432 vendor. We vendor that stuff. Easy money. Easy money. We mine this. We vendor it. Just like that. Yes, that's a spreadsheet. Okay. I already said, Eve. I already told you. <laughs> Thank you, Wolfie, by the way, for putting that together. It's very handy. Um... But yeah, this is the level of that you'll be working with. The game has a functioning auction house. Uh, it has a, um, it has. I believe the auction houses, uh, auction houses are split up by. Oh, getting weird. Um, are split up by station. I'm fairly certain that's the case. I could be wrong though, because stations are very close together. So, who knows? Um, and so yeah, it has a functioning auction house. It has, uh, you know, vendors you could buy. You could you could buy and sell uh, product to. And it can be, and I'm just gonna put on cruise real quick, and then I'll show you guys look at my inventory. Uh, so I'm not, oh, not connected to the ship, actually. We should slow down a little bit. Let's do that. Let's slow down. Slow down. There we go. Let's hop on out. Whoa. Okay, we're good. And then we're gonna come down here. Now, this port right here, this is an umbilical cord port. Come on, slow down. Uh, it's like a little umbilical cord deal here. Hook this up. Now I can access the ship systems, and I can see, well, not system, but inventory, and I can see what's in there. Now, this is a pretty good haul. Um, 
I got all this just from uh, just just a little minute, just a few minutes ago, uh, going through and collecting a bunch of ore. And each one is different. So you can see this one is corrodium ore. This is the stuff that sells pretty well. So I'm hoping I can go and sell this to the vendor uh, and just be done with it. And I'll, then I'll show you guys the auction house uh, where we can sell a few other things and hopefully make some money. Now, uh, this is the, the best way to make money right now in the game. Uh, later on, once the economy uh, matures and starts to stabilize a little bit, um, then we'll likely see um, the development of meta jobs and things like that. So it could be something like somebody's, uh, you know, maybe a pirate. And so their economy, their personal economy or their company's po economy is based around pirating. Uh, there are some that could act as like maybe mules or something or smuggling or whatever. Like I think of basically any any um uh ocean based you know uh novel you've read where there's some kind of you know uh, like i said like a smuggling ring or pirates or uh or you know colony ships or whatever those kinds of things they're all that kind of meta uh industry meta economy will start to kind of up you know show up and um uh and you'll get eve like situations now that's all depending on how the game was developed as you can see you know the game is pretty rough um this is i'm showing you this because this is how the game this is what you're gonna be doing a lot of the time uh and so for some of you guys who play like elite or something this is like no big deal uh it is nice though you know given the kind of game this is it's not elite it's not um uh, eve uh it is a multiplayer mu massive multiplayer online game so you get the uh the joy of seeing somebody else who's doing the same boring shit that you are <laughs> but it's not boring because there's a means to an end here i'm going to turn this in i'm going to get money and then i'm going to turn around and use that to do something else buy another ship or whatever and i'm going to show you guys all that stuff um so uh the ship layout itself you already saw the universal tool we can pull this thing up and you can see the blueprint this blueprint is going to be freaking out right now because there's a bug in the game whenever the game whenever your ship is moving it thinks everything is broken so this is what it looks like when you have stuff that's broken you can't break things the ships will break and they'll be they, they will like drive like shit too um there's different overlays you could use uh this overlay right here i'm going to stop the ship here so you can see can click on that uh, this overlay right here is actually pretty sweet. It allows you to see the durability or the um, uh, structural integrity of your ship. And then also the center of gravity right here. And it says right here, this is a ship warp class, uh, warp class 6.31. So that number is pretty important because if it drops below one, then your ship's going to drive like shit. Okay, now, now there's a science there. I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate, but I know that earlier today I was strapping all kinds of weird stuff to this thing, and that was uh, in, in turn slowing my ship down and making it so that I couldn't um, operate uh, it correctly. Um, <clears throat> also, I was trying to prove a point, and I was right. So uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and turn that off. So we'll go and pull up the menu here, pull this up, data, and uh, I'm sorry, uh, material blueprint. What was it? Okay, look at the ship. Let's try again. Let's turn. Okay, turn. We gotta turn off the mouse. We gotta come over here. Then we gotta bring up a tool. Then we gotta activate the mouse. It's very tedious. Turn this thing off. And what else we have here? Frame durability. This is extra durability here. It's crazy. Um, you gonna give me this thing? There we go. It's crazy wireframe. Uh, let's see. And then what was this one again? Blueprint filler. Attach compatible parts. Oh yeah. If you turn this thing on, it just basically um, it's just for when you're welding stuff together. Not welding, but when you're uh, building out of the ship or something like that. I'm not even entirely sure, you know, because I have so many hours in the game. I'm still, I'm still not 100% on how everything works. Um, here's the, here's the blueprint things I believe that I was showing us here. So what I want to show you uh, out here is you notice I have a couple blocks kind of sitting, uh, just sitting here, bolted onto the ship. Now I did that. Uh, now in, in think about any voxel-based game where you can. I'm going to take one of these things and I'll, I'll just take and drag it out. Uh, any voxel-based game where you can just take and be like bloop, 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 and put down a whole bunch of them, right? Even like Space, Space Engineers, Minecraft, you name it. Uh, here, I can go and take this thing, and I'm going to put it down. See C, and put it right here. That C is to snap it to, uh, to a surface. It's a little wonky. It's a little, it's a little, it's very wonky. There it goes. Okay. There. Then I pull out this. First off, actually, you know what? This is this is here. You go. Just kind of to give you a little example. Uh, let's go and turn on the durability. Look at how it's red. It's red because dang it. It's red because uh, it has no durability to this ship. Um, like it is. Like if I move, it will just it'll just float away or probably cause damage on the way out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 
And I'm gonna bolt in some bolts here. Now it's green. And you see actual bolts get bolted in. <laughs> so now that's bolted to the hull, which is great because that frees up an inventory slot. And I could do it again. I could take this, I could drag it out, and then I could just, you know, pick it up. And then, you know, if I wanted to attach it here, I could do that. All right, so I'll attach it here. And then we bolt this down. And then we should bolt on the other side too. Bolt two ways. There we go. And that's sturdy. Look at that. Uh, you can get pretty creative with how you mount things to the side of your vehicle, as, I, as I've discovered recently. Um, but yeah, that's how the structural integrity part works. And the lower that ship class, no, ship warp class number, you see it's 3.71. It's 3.71 because this thing's hanging off the edge. I bet if I take this thing off, and I can't pick it up yet. Can I pick it up? Oh, I can. Okay, good. If I put that over here, in this slot, gotta be in this slot. There we go, right, oh, right there. I believe that number will go up. Uh, where is it at here? 6.31, so there you go. So the game calculates and, and maths this structure, your structure with actual mindfulness, like KSP, right? Not like Space Engineers or a, a plethora of other shipbuilding games. You know, so you, you really gotta be careful with how you build your ship and how you um, you manage its structural integrity and whatnot. Let's go ahead and turn off the overlay. There we go. So we're almost home here. Um, nobody knows where I'm at right now, I believe, because I have the uh, the ID uh, turned off. If I turn this thing on, then people will see um, top everyday ships. I'm borrowing top ships. If I turn that off, then, well, I'm in the ship, so. Um, but I believe that turns off the transponders so other people will not be able to see. Like other people in your, even in your company, I believe. Um, here we go. Let's go and do this the right way. Let me see. You can see we have people talking. And uh, there's Jordan. Wooby's the one that put together the spreadsheet. You're going to see demonstrated here. So this is your... Go a little, a little faster. This is, well, this is my starting station. Let's turn off the light. Take it away from epicness. It's nighttime right now. Yes, the game does have a day-night cycle. It does have lunar eclipses. It's pretty neat. Now, let's do this. Let's just go and slow it down. Take off cruise. We'll slow it down so you can show you guys here. Okay. So... There's a number of different things you could do here. Way more than I'm going to show you today. There's a building station here. Uh, expert building station or advanced building station. There's uh, an easy build station here, which is broken. Uh, also, this thing, it kind of works. But most people are just buying ships right now and then... Uh, maybe putting small upgrades on them or something. Um, there's a number of other buildings. Most of them are stores, and they sell. They'll, they'll sell blueprints to uh, other vehicles or other uh, ships. Uh, some of them are huge. Some of them are like small, like little skiffs, just you know, little uh, quick ships you can just kind of use to, to bounce around between um, between stations, and whatnot. You can you see that there's lots and lots and lots of. Um, derelict ships now they're not technically classed as derelict uh when they are i think it's like i think it's like two days some people somebody said two days what is it two weeks i believe two days makes the most sense those are all ships that belong to other players that are on the station now this this is not even the busiest station the busiest station has like a hundred times more than this just clouding everything up now eventually they will become derelict and when they do become derelict they are uh, they are available for any player to go and strip of parts, so that's rad. And again, this is another meta economy thing that could happen if this game is developed and people will actually play it. Um, I'll tell you, despite the fact that the game is 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 uh, you know borderline completely broken, um, I am still I am still just pulled to it. I have to play it. I have to get in. I gotta I gotta do some mining. Um, I just, I just need to play more of this. It's addicting. It really, truly is addicting. I'm looking for the nearest tower. It looks like I'm kind of in the middle of these guys. All right, there we go. Let's go straight to this one. It doesn't take but a second. This is the tower we're going to go and we can, um, uh, sell items that are in our inventory. And, and again, there's more jank shit coming up. Oh, just kidding me. Let's try to position this thing just nicely. I believe all of them have a, uh. Is all of them? Okay, maybe not. I'm trying to... Okay, no, that's, it's just the top one. Oops, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. The controls to the ship... Oh, man, I didn't even mention that. They're also garbage. 
<laughs> the controls for the ship, like, you have to actually map. And, and here's the thing. I want to make a second... Oh, excuse me. I want to make a... I'm going to go up, not down. Uh, a second video follow-up to this after about a week of playing. So to really get some good thoughts, because I'm going to have to get into the... Um, into the, uh, the... The expert advanced building uh, tool. Let me see. And I'll, of course, get more time into it. Like, this is... This game is... Uh, huge. I mean, look, so look, just, just, if, again, if you don't know this, like, this is gonna blow your fucking mind, but, like, this is the forward button, right? Boom, we go forward, and we just miss that. I, I can't find the backward button on this thing, okay? Uh, this is, like, the, uh, what is that? It's the roll, roll this, roll this way, right? It's over here, does something else. Okay, well, I'm out of the seat now. Um, let's put that away. Like, each, each one of these, uh, you know, sliding levers, they all do something. They all have a purpose. And they're all, like, they all are like m built with purpose like look forward you see thruster power level i can control this i could say um let's see this is slider for what does this thing do oh, this, is, yeah, this is forward back okay um let me see i'm actually looking at this let's try this again pull it out so there you go so i can actually control how intense i want like the maximum intensity i want this thing to draw whenever i whenever i pull it to to, to move forward um and i'll say so his cruise 50 see 100 see what is this this is a little cruise okay a little center of speed uh so let's just say uh let's make a 10 right i'll change that now when i when i hit the gas it goes nice and slow well it takes it well it just takes off a little bit slower um that's the level of bullshit we're talking about here okay and this, and you could, you could, there's so much data here you can pull from this. You can do almost anything you want with some of these ships. Building them, learning how to build them is, is going to be your biggest, your biggest problem. Like somebody linked me a one hour video and was like, watch this before you get into the editor. I'm like, I'm not going to watch that. I'm just going to get in and play around. I'm a smart dude. I'm going to watch it. After getting in and seeing it after two seconds, I was like, I should watch that one hour video. I will save hours of time. I just watch that damn video. Okay, so uh, here we are at the station, uh, the ore with the ore storage. So what I'm gonna do is, if I wanted to store ore, if there's something I want to keep, uh, I could just double click our, uh, yeah, double click on and put it in my station inventory. We're within range of a station, so we could just move shit back and forth if we want to. Let's just say we'll throw that in there. Boom. Um, that actually got thrown in there. That was kind of weird. Hold on, let me throw some ice in there. I don't care about ice. There we go. Okay, so I guess it was added to one of these piles. Um, so for, for us today, though, we're going to take this and we're going to connect it to this connector here. And now uh, we, we, we gas this thing up, right? Propellant. Let me see. Buy all. Can I just do that? There we go. Hey, look at that. Now we're good. We got plenty of propellant. Uh, how much does it cost? 2,400 credits. Now, all of these panels are like interactable like you would in VR. As a matter of fact, the game feels so much like it was built to be a VR title. Somebody said that they that they assumed that it was or that they heard that it was or something. Um, I think that's probably the correct answer. I'm not going to bother looking it up. Um, let me see. Because everything interacts in that way. You, ha you even have, like, you click on this and then you could type out, you know, whoops, come on. And then you have to, if they get to free the cursor or something, and then you could type. <laughs> like, this is freaking... This interface is is is, is nonsense for a keyboard mouse, but it's, you know what? It's also at the same time it's um uh it's practical. You know how to click things with a mouse or touch thing with a touchpad with your finger out here like this. Um, so let's see, uh, Bastion more. This is all where I already had at my station. I could try. I could sell it from here if I wanted to. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff in here that I was gonna sell. I was a vendor a lot of things. Let me see. Um, let me see. So first thing I have to do is I have to take this. Hold on. Let me go and unhook this guy. And then we're going to first we're gonna pull up the sheet. I believe it was the uh Trodium. 5300 is vendor. Cool. So we're gonna vendor that stuff. So we just go I and then we're gonna we're gonna move all of these, right click on this, transfer all to station. There we go. So now all those are there. We have some half ones here, but we'll just leave them. Uh, as a matter of fact, we don't have anything else to actually sell. Uh, because we need one full stack in order to sell something, so we'll do this. Put this here, that way we could sell it. Uh, and we're gonna go over here and then, oh, sorry, we have to go over there. Uh, we just, oh yeah, we gotta hook it up. We have to at least do that. I believe, no, it's for gas. Dang it, dang it, dang it, that's my fault. Uh, anyway, so, it's in the station. Now we can go over here to the board. Uh, none of this stuff is covered in the tutorial, by the way. This is all trial and error. Uh, and of course, the BFF community hooking me up. Uh, so here we go, we have uh, Agitite Ore, uh, and we wanna sell that. It sells for 
Well, hold on. That wasn't Agitite. It was uh, Corodium. Oh, that's right. It's in. A, I forgot. This thing's in like some whack order. So let's do this. Corodi. Okay. I forgot. I have to click on this. Click on. Fuck. Free my mouse. Then uh, I can type it in. There you go. Corodium ore. So all this stuff I want to sell. So we just click on sell all here. You see it sells for like 5,000 each. So that's pretty good. Sell that. But da ding And now I have a ton of money. Look at that. Hey, that was a really good haul. Um, I still have. I'm going to delete that. I don't want to see my search history. Uh, I delete that. I'm sorry. That, uh, now that that's done, I can uh, access. I believe I could just access it from anywhere here. Can I do it while I'm not in. Uh, oh, there it comes out of that inventory. Let me go on. I don't think it really matters if I unhook this thing, but I want to hook up to my belly. Uh, let me see. So I have this thing here. Oh, did I sell all that? Um, oh, it actually sold. I thought I was going to only sell what was in the search history. Man, that should that should be the search results should be the only thing that's sold uh, when you look at it like that. But that's fine. I was going to sell that shit anyways. Um, we have one item that we could sell <laughs> uh, right here. We'll take this. We're gonna go to see. Um, or we're, we're selling. So selling. We'll double click on this or right click item transfer all. We only have one, so I can't show you guys how they splits it. I can split this. No, I can't split this thing. It's one stack. Uh, I can see that they sell for twenty eight hundred. Uh, Bassium ore, according to this, Bassium ore uh, vendors for twelve hundred. So this is uh, this is definitely a market thing. Cool. So we'll say someone just puts them up twenty seven fifty. So this that's uh, three stacks. I, well, if I have one stack at twenty five hundred, they'll sell like immediately. Let's do that. Just just again, just to show you, um, because yeah. So it's not just the station. It's it's all the stations for sure. Because there's not that many people. There it is sold. <laughs> so this is. I mean, I I made I've made like a hundred G or something like that. Maybe I don't remember what my starting what number was, but I made a good enough a good amount of money um, just on one run here. Um, then that's going to be indicative of every run that you do. Like, different runs are going to have different, you know, depending on what resources you have. I just happen to hit a string of really good stuff. Um, so, let me go ahead and come down here. I've already shown you some of the details of this ship. Um, I don't really, I'm not going to jump into ship building. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to show you, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, but first, let me get down here. We're going to get within the range of, uh, the alert system here. Let me see. Is it not going to tell me? Okay, I can just leave it parked here, fine. Uh, I was going to come down here and take a look at this because this is uh, perfect. This actually shows another pretty glaring issue that the game has. That the LODs for things takes way too long to load. Um, now, these are small ships, but they're, there's, you can see they're still coming in pretty slow. Uh, this is a, a huge problem because uh, sometimes it just takes forever. Like, that was pretty fast, but it's also a very small ship. Now, all of these ships... Now, I'm, I'm on suit, by the way, so I'm just kind of, like, running around. I'm going to go ahead and put my boots on so I can actually run. Got to run faster than I can fly. Uh, let's see. Let me see what's in here. This is... Um, oh, so check this out. So, 160 for the uh, for that ship. I mean, it's a pretty sexy-looking little kind of zoomer there. Um, but I could test fly it if I want before I try to buy it. I also need to get a bunch of resources, too, eventually. Uh, let me see. Test flight... But you could basically do this with anything you want and it puts you in this instanced area that has no clipping anywhere just so you get a feel for the ship this thing maneuvers pretty well now unlike other games there's no there's no menus here to pull up the ship interface so you can see everything that your ship has you know like there's no like um like hit g or whatever it is in space engineers that pulls up the menu you could you could sift through all of your devices like the game requires that if you want to interface with the device like on your ship somewhere like that thing right there i have to left click on it i have to pull out my menu while looking at it in order to see oh i'm sitting in my chair so it's not going to work in order to see what that thing is so like this boom and it's going to say um the material to the materials made out of i believe it's supposed to also tell me what the item is or if there's any uh things i could do with it let me try this again i could be wrong i thought for sure it was going to show me something there but i guess not okay well i feel like this is broken oh maybe because i'm in test flight mode it doesn't show up because yeah even the, sh the whole ship is not showing up at all anyways you have to actually look at the item in order to, in order to do anything with it uh do you have menus where you can look at things here that will typically show you things, as you guys already seen. It's going to leave the test mode here. It's not really helping me. Um, I believe I can actually look at like even the, the the station here. Let me see blueprint material. Oh no, nothing. Okay, okay. Well, I was just wondering. Anyways, there's lots of different stores like there are lots of different shops like this. Um, let me straighten myself out. 
uh, where you could run around and you know buy. Most people are doing this. They're buying ships. They're just buying a ship, and then they're using it to mine more things out beyond the safe zone and null sec area. Uh, we already had uh, some part, uh, somebody in the community, Dimmy, actually already lost a ship. Um, he went to go take a piss or something like that, and then he came back and the ship was gone. Pretty funny. <laughs> there are ways to uh, stop that from happening, but I don't know. I don't know what he did that maybe did not um, something didn't something, something did not work out in his favor. And he ended up losing an entire ship. Um, you can run around. There's plenty of like of, you know little walkways down there you can go through and uh, and cruise the streets and check it out if you want. Um, this is ship design workshop. This is gonna be our last stop over here. Go ahead. Whoop, 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 whoop. Lots of that. Lots of that. I could probably just take this guy and just slap it in there. Well, what's happening to my... <laughs> I think I turned into an LOD right there. It's actually going to let me do this? I think so, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to be... I can't be sticking out anywhere. There you go. So let's see. What can I do with this thing? Well, first, let's go over here and just... Pop it into the actual editor. Let me see. Start editing private. Just me. Okay. It does not load that. All right. So I thought I was going to load that ship because I put it in there. The easy mode does that, but this one does not. All right. But the easy mode's broken. Like I said, um, this is the editor. It feels like you're building something in Unity. Uh, like for example, I take some straight beams. I don't know how this works at all, but you put down some beams here. Just bring it back. We go put some beams. Um, and then there's there's ways you have to attach these things. That there's rules and how these things are placed. Like this is the way wrong way to do it, but I'm doing it just for demonstration purposes. There's special beams here. And you want to get maybe a nice little curve in somewhere. There we go. Look at that. Bam. Now this is not gonna work at all. The controls in here are also ass, by the way. God damn it. Uh, like, how do I even go up? Is it really going to be up and down? No, it's not. Okay, well, I don't know how to do it then. We'll go like this. I think there's like shit. Oh, fuck. I don't even know. This thing is a nightmare. I'm going to make another video on this one later. If I keep playing. Right now, right now, I am like enjoying the mining and then like just bring this mining. Uh, and then, uh, turning around and putting it into, um, uh, yeah, turning into money and, you know, taking that and I want to, I want to go and pick up a, you know my own vehicle and all that stuff I'm working I'm working with tops vehicle right now um you can rotate this thing around a little bit here if I want to just you know there we go it looks good <laughs> I'm not even close to it uh, I have a feeling that the, that this this particular uh or this this style of designer for uh making your vehicles is not going to really work with me um and it probably doesn't work with some of you guys like it's it's a little it's a little insane it's a little ins i'm hoping the easy mode kind of uh, kind of gets uh, fleshed out uh because i like to fuck with that a little bit but this one it's just it's just man it's, it's really a lot it's really a lot to ask um for someone to learn something like this but i'm gonna i'm gonna try i'm gonna try yolo i didn't even talk about yolo yolo is uh, their own um uh, it's like a coding language that you can use i think uh so if you want to uh, uh, script things and people have already scripted uh, uh, nav point see I'm, yeah, I'm all kinds of messed up here I don't even know how to snap things um, people have already designed a nav point system with complete with documentation so that way you can um, plot nav points and have markers and all that stuff but you have what, what's crazy is you know you, you think developers need to put that in there no no that's the whole point of yolo is that you'll you'll take the script it's an in-game script it's not a mod and you'll take that and you'll put that to um uh and you'll use that to control certain devices in order to achieve a certain effect and so yeah you have to put like four sensors on and then you have to do all this crazy configuration but then once it's done it will function and it will work in game it's wild it's wild the stuff that uh you can do uh my, my preliminary look at like what stuff you could do with um uh, with the uh, YOLO scripting so like overall man like you know the game the game like it has promise it's just like not let me look at this LOD it's gonna take forever um it's not this is not this is a starter ship it's a freaking starter ship um but it is uh it is rough it's really rough but it's addicting I want to keep going I want to keep mining I don't even know what my next goal is I have no idea do I want to go sit in this editor probably not Right? I probably don't want to send that editor. Is this, wait, is this thing loaded? 
Oh, yeah, it did, it did end up loading, huh? It's just a box. Man, it <laughs> brings back Space Engineer's memories right there. Uh, but the game has potential. But I would not tell anybody, go pick this up right now at all. You have to know what you're getting into. Uh, and hopefully this has helped you get a general idea of what it's like, this current state of this game. Um, so I will follow this up with another one after I get some more time in. Uh, it is deserved of that at least because it is a game that's, you know, it's right up my alley and it's trying, they're trying to do big things here. They really are. Lots of other games have tried this and have, you know, failed or neutered in some way that they didn't quite achieve this effect. Um, but right now at thirty four ninety nine, I believe the title is, uh, it is a bit steep to just try it. And you need a lot more than two hours to do that too. Like I said, I'm 12 hours, 13 hours into it and I am still, still lost, still lost. My name is Mike VAK Phony. The game is called Starbase, currently available. Early access, <laughs> by definition, early access. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.